before you ask your question, we ask that you raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone around you, to you. Identify yourself by name and affiliation. And um, when you ask your questions to your student athletes, we ask that you please direct your question to a specific student athlete. We'll open the floor. Uh, Coach, if you like, you can make an opening statement. And then uh, we'll open the floor for questions for Coach Joyner only. Uh, I, thought, I thought the kids fought hard for 40 minutes. We ended up with 14 turnovers, but I thought we, we handled the ball well. We didn't, we didn't turn it over. We got a little, little shaky there at the end, but luckily we made some big shots to, to kind of get some separation. So when we did make three or four of those turnovers, we was able to withstand. You know, like I told them today, I'm pretty sure they've read everything just like I've read everything. Uh, okay, everybody say Manhattan was a better team, and that's fine, but we had to be better tonight, and we were the better for 40 minutes tonight. I misspoke. We will open the floor right now for questions for only our student athletes, and they'll be dismissed, and we'll have coach, uh, questions for coach. So questions for our student athletes only here on the aisle. Uh, Jerry Tipton, Lexington Herald Leader. Quentin, what, as coach mentioned, there was the, a lot of talk about Manhattan, supposedly the better team. How inspiring or motivating was that? Um, he inspired us a lot, uh, but at the end of the day, we came together as a team. Uh, we prayed up and we stayed humble and we came out with the win. Here in the back on the right. Uh, Quentin Austin Ward, ESPN.com. Uh, that seemed like a pretty nasty fall there at the end. Can you update us on uh, your ankle, your leg? And, and really, it seemed like a physical game. You were taking shots almost the whole night. Um, I sprained my ankle twice. Uh, the first time, it wasn't that bad. And the second time, it just. It just really hurt, and I just couldn't go anymore. And my and my team ended up pulling it out, but hopefully I can just keep icing, um, get treatment, and be ready for Kentucky on Thursday. Yeah, right here in the front. Uh, Quentin, if I could ask, uh, my name is Jonah. I'm with Pioneer Press in Chicago. Um, you've played on the big stage before, the SEC tournament, playing in Tennessee. If you could talk about just how this compared to some of the previous stages you've played on. Um, it was the same stage. The only difference was I was probably on the bench more at Tennessee than I was here. So I really just got my opportunity uh, in producing and ended up with a win, and hopefully I can keep going. Here in the back, Tim. Uh, Tim May, Columbus Dispatch. Uh, Quentin and Brian, uh, what's it like knowing now you're going to go against Kentucky? What are your first thoughts? Quentin, if you can answer that first, please. Um, Really just going in with a great mindset, um, not being intimidated, um, and just playing as hard as we can and knocking down all shots, going hard, um, and just never giving up. Even when adversity hits us in the game, we can't um, you know, get down on ourselves. We just got to keep playing. Uh, really, our thoughts are just making sure we stay focused on ourselves as a team, like as a whole unit, just making sure we all on one accord and everybody's focused. Here in the front. Jason Haddix with the Daily Press. Brian, talk about the uh, that second half surge where they pulled within one. What was it that allowed you guys to uh, stretch that lead back out? Um, it was we, we all came together. We realized that we had to pick it up. You know, we had to pick it up on defense, uh, rebounding, uh, making sure everybody was talking. So I felt like we, uh, we did a great job. Any further questions for here in front? Quentin, talk about the the press that Manhattan put on you guys. It, seemed to cause trouble kind of throughout the game and how you guys were able to overcome the press. Um, it did. Uh, I feel like it, uh, it helped when our, our center, uh, Emmanuel, came up and caught the ball and then got to our guards. It was kind of hard um, in, the, in the beginning for our guards to get open. And then, you know, we got a couple of dumb charges that didn't go our way. Um, but I feel like in the end of the game, they really just knuckled down and, and stayed calm, and, that, and we got the win. In the back. Patrick Max, New York Times, have to ask you guys, it's a little offbeat, but what's up with the crisscross thing after the free throws? Quentin, your legs. Answer that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just our swag. I mean, it's just something we do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't even really explain it. That's just how we stay together as a family. Here in the front. Sam Rose, Blue McGenna, Pioneer Press. Brian, if you could just talk about it. I know Quentin's, you guys are mainly a junior team, mainly a younger team, and Quentin's one of the kind of the veterans on this team, graduated senior. If you could talk about kind of the role he plays just as a leader. Leader, he's he's very vocal, very vocal, and he, he comes hard every time, every every day in practice, every game. He's he's playing as hard as he can. He can leave it all out the, out there on the floor. So therefore, we all follow in suit. Got time for two more questions. 
Peter, for, for Brian, I mean, is, how fun is it to be the underdog? Is it, you know, and you're going to be a bigger underdog, obviously, Thursday. Was it fun to come in? and? Oh, definitely, know? definitely. We love that. We, we, we take that head on. That's, that's just, that's our image. I'll take that. Time for one more. Anything further for our student athletes? All right. Brian and Quinton, thank you for your time. Good luck against Kentucky. Uh, now we'll open the floor for questions for Coach Joyner right here on the aisle. Coach, uh, can you give us an update on, on the two guys that did not play today, what, what their injuries are and what it said about you guys to pull it out without them? Uh, Philip Reed is a backup center for us. Uh, it's about 6'10". Uh, he, he, played, he played sparingly, but uh, he had a, a, a something dealing with his chest. I, I don't remember the, the name of it, but, but he, will, he will not play. Uh, Dwight McKeel, high ankle sprain. Uh, he's day to day. You know, he, he's feeling a lot better every day. But I don't, we, we don't know the status until we until really game time. Here in the front, Coach. Earlier, was a lot of fast pace back and forth. Was that the style of play you were expecting, or was it just a reaction to how Manhattan was playing? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. We actually like to play a fast pace. When we start playing half court a lot, sometimes we overthink. So we, we like to try to speed it up, and, and especially if we. Uh, 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 when teams that press us, we, 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 I teach attack to press. I don't like to hold it back. You know, we're going to attack it, and we're going to try to score. Uh, so, that, yes, that, that's the way we wanted to play. Uh, we didn't mind playing that way. We just didn't want, want – but, but also we wanted to make sure that we made the right decisions. We wanted to be quick but not in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? And I thought we did that, and I thought Deron Powers handled it well. You know, and actually picked him apart in certain situations, even though he may not have gotten the assist. You know, he was part of the reason that we were able to break the defense down. You're on the aisle. Uh, coach,